Peacock, Paramount Plus, and Hulu are three of the most popular streaming services out there. But which one is right for you? In this video, we compare Peacock versus Paramount Plus versus Hulu on plans, pricing, content, user experience, and features to help you decide which one has the most of what you're looking for in a streaming service. We'll rank them for each factor and reveal our overall winner at the end. Now let's look at our first factor, plans and pricing. All three are popular streaming services that offer compelling original content, network shows, and movies. But Peacock and Paramount Plus also offer some live TV, including live sports. If you want a true cable replacement with all of your locals, consider services like YouTube TV, Fubo TV, and Hulu Live. With that in mind, let's start with Peacock plans and prices. Peacock is NBC's streaming service and is a legitimate way to watch NBC without cable. It launched with a free tier, but recently discontinued that for new users. Existing subscribers can still access the free tier of Peacock, but new users will have to choose between one of the service's two paid plans. At time of filming, Premium costs $4.99 a month or $49.99 a year and gives you access to full seasons of popular NBC shows and live sports, including Sunday Night Football and, in the fall of 2023, Big Ten Football. The Premium Plus plan costs $9.99 a month or $99.99 a year and gives you everything in premium along with access to a live feed of your local NBC station, ad-free, on-demand content, and the ability to download and watch select shows and movies offline. Unless you have an antenna, we recommend the Premium Plus plan so you can stream your local NBC channel. At time of filming, Peacock is not offering a free trial. Now let's look at Paramount Plus, which is CBS's streaming service. It also offers two plans. Essential costs $4.99 a month or $49.99 a year. It includes tens of thousands of episodes and movies and some live sports. You'll get the NFL on CBS Live, Champions League Soccer Games Live, and CBS News Live, which is a curated stream of news content from CBS sources. However, if you want to be able to watch CBS Without Cable through a live feed of your local CBS station, you'll need to pay up for the premium plan. At time of filming, that costs $9.99 a month or $99.99 a year. You'll be able to watch almost everything on Paramount Plus ad-free except for live TV and the ability to download shows and watch them later. At time of filming, it also offers plans that include Showtime, so you can get the essential plan plus Showtime for $11.99 a month or $119.99 a year plus taxes, or the premium plan plus Showtime for $14.99 a month or $149.99 a year plus taxes. Variety and others reported that Showtime will be renamed Paramount Plus with Showtime sometime this year. Showtime will be called Paramount Plus with Showtime in the U.S. on streaming and linear platforms. It will be interesting to see if the pricing changes for the premium tier when the rebranding occurs or stays the same at the current rate of $14.99 a month. You can try Paramount Plus free for seven days. Now, if you have an antenna and you don't need a live feed of your CBS station, we recommend the lower priced plan. If you live somewhere rural where an antenna isn't a good option, pay up for the premium plan. Now let's look at Hulu plans and prices. Hulu offers two plans, with ads and without. The with ads plan costs $7.99 per month or $79.99 a year at time of filming. Without ads costs $14.99 per month and there's no annual plan. Hulu started with next day access to episodes of network shows airing on Fox, NBC, and ABC. Since there's no live TV on Hulu, it's not a way to watch Fox without cable or ABC without cable. They do seem to be testing the idea of live programming, though, by putting Dancing with the Stars and other shows like the Oscar nomination announcements live on Disney+. Plus. You can also get Hulu as part of the Disney Bundle, which includes Hulu, Disney+, Plus, and ESPN+, Plus, all with ads for $12.99 a month at time of filming. Or you can get just Hulu and Disney+, Plus for $9.99 a month. Hulu is one of the worst when it comes to ads. Still, if you can stomach the ad load, you can save some money by choosing the with ads plan. If you have kids or you want sports content, we recommend the ads Disney Plus bundle as it's a great deal for $12.99 a month. Comparing the three on price and plans, we think it's really close between Peacock and Paramount Plus, but give the win to Peacock for having nearly twice as much content as Paramount Plus for the same price point. However, we do wish Peacock would offer a free trial, which it doesn't currently, but Paramount Plus does. Next up in our Paramount Plus versus Peacock versus Hulu review is content. What can you watch on each platform? 
Peacock, Paramount Plus, and Hulu have a lot of content and some original shows streaming exclusively on them. Let's start with what you can watch on Peacock. Peacock is the home of the NBC Universal family of networks, which includes Bravo, Focus Features, MSNBC, NBC News, and Telemundo. Most shows that air on any of those networks can be streamed on demand on Peacock the following day. Some of the shows on Peacock include The Office, Parks and Rec, Friday Night Lights, Sunday Night Football, which you can watch live, and the Law & Order franchise. It also added a Hallmark Hub over the past holiday season that includes content from all three Hallmark networks. And, much to Paramount Plus's dismay, it has the first four seasons of hit series Yellowstone, whereas thanks to a licensing agreement made before the show took off, Paramount Plus does not. Overall, Peacock says it has more than 80,000 hours of content, with plans to increase that to 100,000 in 2023. Watch our Peacock review video for more details on the service. Speaking of Paramount Plus, let's look at what content it has. Paramount Plus is the home of the Paramount family of networks, so you can watch your favorite shows from BET, CBS, Comedy Central, MTV, Nickelodeon, and the Smithsonian Channel. But it also has really good originals, including Yellowstone prequels 1883 and 1923, as well as other shows from Taylor Sheridan, including Tulsa King and Mayor of Kingston. Instead of advertising its available content in hours, Paramount Plus says it has over 40,000 episodes and movies. Browsing the movie collections of both Peacock and Paramount Plus, I personally found Paramount Plus is offering more appealing for what I like to watch. I'm currently reworking my way through the Indiana Jones franchise on the service. You can watch our Paramount Plus review video to learn more about what's on it. Now let's talk about what you can watch on Hulu. There is admittedly much less content on Hulu. This is in part because NBC pulled much of its content off. However, as Deadline and others reported, Fox and Hulu just agreed to a deal that will keep next day episodes of Fox primetime shows that are currently in season on Hulu for multiple years. Hulu also has ABC content, so you can catch episodes from shows like Abbott Elementary and other series 24 hours after they air. Hulu also has some good original content, including Kindred, Only Murders in the Building, and Handmaid's Tale. Overall, though, with about 3,000 titles, Hulu's content library is smaller than Peacock or Paramount Plus's. We think the decision, again, is really close between the two, but give the win to Paramount Plus. It has a few more original series that we enjoy watching and a slightly better movie library, in our opinion. Ultimately, the answer for you will come down to which service has the most number of your favorite shows. Now, let's move on to our next factor in this Hulu versus Peacock versus Paramount Plus review, and that's user experience. For many cord cutters, the look and feel of a service is very important. So let's start with what it's like to watch shows on Peacock. When you launch Peacock, you'll see eight navigation tabs across the top, with a search function and your profile icon on the far right. As you scroll down, you'll see rows upon rows of content to explore, including Peacock Picks, Live, and Trending. Clicking right reveals more shows and movies. Clicking on any title brings up the option to add it to your stuff and watch it. Scrolling down further toward the bottom brings up a row of featured brands like NBC, Bravo, and Hallmark that you can use to filter content. Now let's look at Paramount Plus. The first thing you'll see is a big slider of shows Paramount Plus wants to draw your attention to, followed by rows of content. You'll see titles you're currently watching, followed by items you've added to your list, originals, brands, and more. Across the top on a computer or left on a TV, you can filter content by TV shows, movies, live TV, sports, news, showtime, and my list. There's also a search function and settings you can access in your profile in the top right. Clicking on anything brings up a submenu with more filtering options. Clicking live TV brings up a live feed of CBS News and other curated streams of content that you can filter by news, sports, drama, kids, reality, and comedy. Overall, we really like Paramount Plus's interface and think it does a relatively good job of making it easy to find things to watch. Finally, let's look at Hulu's interface. Like the other two, you'll see a large screen promoting particular shows followed by rows of content. On the top on a computer or left side on a TV, you'll see more options to filter content by TV, movies, news, a My Stuff tab for titles you've earmarked, and hubs. You can search for anything or access your profile in the top right. Clicking hubs is a nice way to filter by network or Hulu originals. As you can see, there is no live TV component on Hulu. Having looked at all three, we give the win to Paramount Plus, though Peacock would be a close second. 
We like the layout and way they make it easy and intuitive to filter live TV. Peacock isn't as straightforward in this matter. Now let's look at our last category, features. All three require a high-speed internet connection with recommended minimum speed of 2.5 megabytes per second per stream for standard quality and 5 megabytes per second per stream for HD video. All are also pretty much available anywhere with a screen. Roku, Fire TV, Chromecast, Apple TV, Smart TVs, and Android and Apple devices all support streaming these three platforms. But how about simultaneous streams? Peacock and Paramount Plus both clock in at three, while Hulu only lets you watch on two screens at once. Another point of comparison comes with user profiles. All three are equal in letting you create up to six user profiles. All three also offer parental controls. You can create kids' profiles that can then restrict content to titles suitable for all ages. But what about 4K content? All three let you stream in 4K quality, though there still isn't a lot of 4K content available across the streaming industry, and you need a 4K-ready TV to watch it, so this really isn't a selling point. However, all Hulu originals stream in 4K. And for sound quality, all three support Dolby 5.1 surround sound on select titles. Paramount Plus, however, requires you to have the premium plan. Having considered all the factors, we're going to give the win to Peacock since it doesn't make you pay up for Dolby sound. That said, all three are pretty equal, though we would like to see Hulu add in a third simultaneous screen like the others. Now it's time to reveal our overall winner. It's really close between Peacock and Paramount Plus, but we're giving the nod to Paramount Plus. We think its user experience and quality of content for us are better than Peacock. We put Hulu a distant third because it has no live TV options and its cheapest plan costs more than the others. It also has one less simultaneous screen and a smaller content library. And it didn't win any of our categories. Still, if you can snag it on Black Friday for $1.99 a month, it's worthwhile. And if you add in the Disney Plus bundle, you get a pretty solid alternative to Netflix. For you, the answer should come down to which service has the most content that you want to watch. Speaking of Black Friday, all three services tend to offer specials around the holiday, so keep your eyes open around that time of year to try any of them at a reduced price. Well, that does it for this video. What do you think of the three services? Who would you rank first? Let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can get all our latest news and reviews when they drop. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.